Hey, Salim here, uh, shooting this video from uh, a place called Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. Uh, my wife and myself, we are three months into our world tour and uh, my kids have come, they joined, they've joined us. And yeah, I'm surrounded by uh, a tropical forest. It's just amazing. It's called Mossy Forest. So they have kind of continued the, the hike <laughs> and uh, I wanted to shoot this video for you and uh, share, a, share a few thoughts that I have uh, about creating a lifestyle practice and things that, that may help you. Hope you're well, by the way. Uh, anyway, one of the things that that's really important, you know, now that tax season is over, is to have a plan, is to create a plan for the rest of 2022. What do the next six, seven months look like? And having a plan is so critical, so necessary. Uh, and, and, and it really gives you, you know, a plan is a roadmap. It gives you, it guides you. It helps you to focus on what's important. And there are three things that you really want to be thinking about as you put a plan together. Three things that you want to make sure that your plan covers. And, and the goal is to create a turnkey, a turnkey lifestyle practice. And I tell you, this has become more important for me than ever is the importance of creating a turnkey business and a, a practice that serves you rather than you serving it. If you're not enjoying your practice now, if you're feeling burnt out and stressed and you're just like on the hamster wheel, then in all likelihood, you, you may not be enjoying, you're not enjoying your practice and you, you're the best judge for that. And I talk to lots of practitioners and you just kind of, you know, they're just going through the day, through the week, and they're going through tax season and tax season. And if anything, COVID shared with us, and I've lost several people that have spoken at my conferences, several attendees in their 50s, in their 60s, that lost their lives. And it's really sad that that's happened. And the message for us is life is short. It's unpredictable. And we just can't say, I'm going to work and then I'll retire and then I'll enjoy my life. You've got to enjoy the journey. You, you, you know, there is no destination. You want to enjoy, you know, in, enjoy the journey as, as you go through it. So putting a plan are three things. Three things that make it turnkey, that enable you to live the life that you want. An enjoyable life, a meaningful life, a life that has balance, a life where You've got the, 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 the professional side, the, you know, your firm, but you've got the personal side as well. And there's enough energy left after, you know, as, as you work and develop your practice. All right. So three things you, you want to work on. Number one is putting a system, a client attraction system in place that brings you high paying clients. These are high value, high paying clients. And there is a big difference in a practice that is filled with low paying clients versus one that is bringing in consistently high, high value clients. And, and it takes several things and I'm not going to, I won't be able to share that all with you or what, what, what that all entails in, in, in attracting those clients, but it's becoming, you know, some of the things are, it's becoming clear about who, who that is for you. And then, uh, defining, you know, articulating your message that differentiates you, having an authority website and so forth. It's a deeper subject. I'm not going to cover it, but I just want to give you like a, a, a summary of the three things you want to be working on. High, uh, uh, having a high uh, client attraction system in place that's bringing in the high value clients is number one. Second thing is you need to, you, you want to have a team. And when I talk about a team, I'm talking about a championship team, a team that is as excited about your practice uh, and a, as you are, a team that, you know, wants to go places, a team that wants to help you take it to the next level, uh, a team that can handle the day-to-day -day stuff without your oversight, without you 
having to babysit them because that's a huge energy drain. So second thing is have a plan of building a championship team. Some of your team members um, may be champions, some may not. Putting a plan in place of how to elevate uh, elevate your team. And then the third thing is streamlining your operations with having documented systems in place, looking at your tech stack, automation, um, so that it's not dependent on you. Everything, you know, you're not the powerhouse, you're not the knowledge, the knowledge powerhouse in your practice. There are systems, you know, things that are in everyone's head, they are onto systems so that there's transparency, there's, uh, things can be shared. Yeah, you're not the bottleneck because you, 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 you know all the information or you've got the answers, right? That frees you up. That makes your practice less owner dependent. And whenever you create a practice that's less owner dependent, you're maximizing its value. Automatically, you're maximizing its value. When you're ready to exit your practice, you are going to get top, top dollars for your practice. So putting a plan in place, critical. Looking at these three areas, client attraction system that attracts high value clients, number one. Number two, having a team you can rely on, a championship team is number two. Number three is streamlining your operations with documented systems and processes so that uh, so that it's turnkey. It's truly a practice, a business that can be as is not as owner dependent as it currently may be. All right, I am going back to hiking in the mossy forest here in Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. It's just so amazing. It's beautiful. Temperatures like in the mid mid seventies, so just perfect temperature as well. Hope you found value in this. Uh, if you did, love your comments. Share that in uh, in the space below somewhere, and uh, you take care. Thanks for watching this. Bye.